Hey guys, so I spent today uh, thrifting and I went through a bunch of places. Unfortunately, most places didn't really have anything for me to pick up today. But I went to a new place in the area I was in. Uh, another one of those like Amazon return bin center places. So I picked up uh, three movies there. They had they only didn't have a lot of movies there. They only had maybe six. And I picked up the three of the six that were there because the other three were open and had loose discs and there were DVDs. And of course, you know what they say, if you come across a DVD that's sealed with a loose disc, pass. Because most of the time it's going to be scratched. So the only DVD I found today wasn't for me. I'm going to resell it because it's not my thing. But I, I looked it up. It goes for a little bit of money. So uh, like, okay, these three titles that I got here. They were all a dollar a piece, so all factory sealed. One of them I'm going to watch, but the other two I'm going to just sell uh, for trade-ins for other things. So uh, first up here is a movie from 2021 directed by Chris White, uh, starring Brian Baumgartner and Judd Nelson. That is a film called Electric Jesus, A Star is Born Again. This is a comedy uh, about a uh, promoter selling a Christian metal band on the promise of a summer tour in 1986. Their desire to make Jesus famous meets the complexities and confusion of personal ambition, youthful zeal, long life, uh, lifelong world of friendships and first love. So, I don't know. Not my thing, but someone would probably want it. Electric Jesus. Actually, I looked it up. The DVD goes for more than the actual Blu-ray does, which is very strange to me, but whatever. So, Electric Jesus. Jesus. Uh, next one here. This is the one I'm probably going to watch, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. This is from I Love You Entertainment uh, from 2021, directed by Carlo De Rosa, and that is a film called Finding Joy. This is the first title I found when I went in there. Um, I was going to pass on it, but I saw that uh, Barry Boswick is in this, so I figured I'd pick it up. I like him. Not everything he's done, but I like him as an actor. Certain certain, uh, certain roles he's been in. Um, definitely Rocky Horror Picture Show comes to mind. And then, uh, how was that one, that one movie that came out in uh, the last couple of years? A Christmas horror movie. Uh, something bells I don't remember anyway finding joy this is about a self-absorbed writer rediscovering himself his family and what it means to be happy when he meets joy a young woman who asks him to write her obituary so maybe a dark comedy I'm not sure but looked interesting picked it up for a dollar last one here and this is definitely not my thing but it's got a great cast um, it's from 2012, directed by Dean Wright, stars Andy Garcia, Oscar Isaac, Catalina Sandino Moreno, Santiago Cabrera, Eva Longoria, and Peter O'Toole, and that is a film called For Greater Glory, the true story of, I'm going to butcher this, Cristiada, Cristiada, uh, this is a western type movie based on the true story of the 1920s Cristero War. I can't read the whole synopsis because the stickers, the Amazon sticker is blocking everything, but you know, looked it up didn't go for much, but more than a dollar. So picked it up to resell. If you guys are interested in it, maybe I'll give it out your way. So that was my, my three titles from that bin place. Today was dollar day, so that's why slim slim pickings there, but they're only open, I think, Friday through Wednesday. So Fridays are like $10, everything's $10, and then it goes down a dollar each day or something like that, and then Wednesday is the $1 day, and then they're closed on Thursdays to restock, so maybe someday I'll, get, I'll go down there on a different day and see what they have, so... Then I went to the thrift store next door, and they had a lot of Blu-rays today. Unfortunately, I didn't want to buy everything they had, but I only I picked up 
six titles. Now, this chain always sells Blu-rays for $4 each, but today they were three for five. I actually ended up getting these, uh, a total of six titles for $7. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Like I said, they had a lot more than just, just this. They had, usually they only have like one little row, but today they had like maybe almost two rows of Blu-rays. Uh, I've seen this one many times when I've been out, but I figured I'd pick it up this time. This is a uh, movie from 1986. I've seen this in a double feature with uh, Santa Most Fire. This is About Last Night. Starring Rob Lowe, Demi Moore, James Belushi, Elizabeth Perkins. Directed by Edward uh, Edward Zwick. 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 I guess I say his last name. Um, never seen this, but I've always, you know, I've seen it in other stores. So I figured I'd pick that up. This is a TriStar Image Entertainment release. No inside artwork. It's just the same artwork on the disc. Uh, this one here, I've, I think I had the DVD at one point. I think I got rid of it though. So this is an upgrade. Uh, this is a Universal title from 2011. That is Cat Run, starring Paz Vega, Christopher McDonald, um, D.L. Hughley, uh, a lot of other people I don't recognize by name, but probably by face. This is a John Stockwell film, so you're always going to be in it for a good a good watch there. Uh, typical, typical Universal. No, no artwork on the disc. But I heard that was a good one. Uh, next one here was a film I've always wanted to check out. This is a Miramax Lionsgate release from 2002. That is a film based on a true story called City of God. Uh, I don't think I recognize anyone in this. No. No, I don't. This is a Fernando... Mur I got, I'm gonna butcher this guy's last name. Morales, Miera. I don't know. It's this is a. What I like? This says it was filmed in Brazil, so Portuguese. I think it's in Portuguese. Yeah, it's in it's in Brazilian Portuguese with English subtitles. And I, yep, digital code is in here. So if you guys want it, there you go. Just let me know in the comments uh, if it worked and which one of you guys got it. So I don't know if it's uh, this is a used this is a used Blu-ray, so someone might have already used it. But there you go, City of God. Uh, 130 minutes on that one. Uh, the last three here are horror titles. Um, I have the I have the DVD of this. At least I I used to. Maybe I don't know. This is an upgrade as well. This is an Anchor Bay title from 2012, directed by Richard Bates Jr. Uh, Excision. Uh, Tracy Lords is in this. Um, John Waters, Ray Wise, Michael McDowell. Pretty good cast in here. Never seen it, but I've heard it's pretty, pretty bloody from what I remember. Yeah, there's the back. Nothing inside. This one, I, I think I've seen this one out and about. Maybe, I think Dollar Tree had this at one point, maybe on DVD. I know I've seen this at FYE too. Um, this is an Image Entertainment release. 2011, directed by Martin Guigui. G-U-I-G-U-I, -G -U -I, I guess that's how you say his last name. This one stars Dennis Quaid, Amy T. Garden, and Tony Aller. And that is a film called Beneath the Darkness. Uh, so some people would kill to keep a secret. So I guess this is more of a thriller than a horror film, to be honest. Yep. Nothing to write home about on the inside, so... Let me know if you, see, if you guys have seen any of these. Last one here is an Echo Bridge uh, title 
when they actually put decent stuff out. They don't really do that. And actually, this is from 2000. This movie is from 2005. It was re-released in 2008. Uh, this one stars Bill Cobbs. Directed by... Directed this film. Jerry Maynardi. Maynardi. It was written by, I guess, his brothers. Michael and Jerry. This is uh, the final patient. Every miracle has its price. New York and International Independent Film and Video Festival winner in 2006. Um, yeah. Gosh, she has a lot of special features on here too. Behind the scenes, behind the faces. Uh, that's a prosthetics and makeup uh, little feature at Beginning and end from storyboard to editing, deleted scenes, the trailer, and then director and producer commentary. So, pretty cool. Never seen this either. Yeah. So that's everything I, I found today. I went to a Goodwill, struck out, went to another uh, location for this this morning. I didn't find anything. Uh, I went to the big, the, the Best Buy out there, tried to find House of Dozen Corpses. They didn't put it out. They only put out Flashdance, which I already have that movie, so I don't really need to upgrade. So yeah, I didn't really find anything today other than this little stack here, but um, nine, nine titles for about 10 bucks. Not a bad deal, right? So this is what I found today. So let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these and what you thought of them. I'll catch you guys probably in a day or two. See ya.